norms and that's why today we want to show that Modi ji, you should move ahead according to the constitution. Well, on the Prime Minister's uh, remarks about the emergency, he further added, and I quote, that he will say this 100 times without declaring an emergency, you're doing this. How long do you want to rule by talking about this? हमारे साथ दी लेकिन मोदी जी संविधान को तोड़ने की कोशिश किए इसीलिए आज सभी पार्टी के नेता लोग एक होकर ये जो प्रोटेस्ट कर रहे हैं और यहाँ पर जो गांधी स्टैचू थी और वहीं पर हम प्रोटेस्ट कर रहे हैं मेरे बाबा साहब अम्बेडकर की वहाँ थी और गांधी जी की यहाँ थी यानी हर नॉर्म्स को डेमोक्रेटिक नॉर्म्स को तोड़ रहे हैं इसीलिए आज हम ये दिखाना चाहते हैं भाई मोदी जी आप संविधान के तहत चलिए इमरजेंसी की बात नहीं देखो सौ बार यही बात बोलेंगे so Malika Arjun Kharge is talking about the Prime Minister when he addressed the media just before his oath taking the Prime Minister calling the emergency a blot on democracy, calling for the need of arriving at a consensus while making decisions related to public good. Uh, that's what the Prime Minister said. So the opposition up in arms. In fact, in that address to the media, the Prime Minister urged the newly elected MPs uh, to work in uh, togetherness and consensus. He reiterated the vision of Vikas, that is development and Vishwas, that is trust for a resilient and a prosperous country. So, Malika Arjun Kharge extremely upset and uh, talking about uh, the Prime Minister and the government. In fact, he said, and I quote, that uh, the Prime Minister is going to say this 100 times, but without declaring an emergency, the Prime Minister is actually uh, doing one. And he even questioned the Prime Minister, how long does the Prime Minister want to rule by talking about uh, all these matters? So, the first session of Parliament already starting on a rather strong Tommy one, uh, you have a resurgent opposition up in arms planning to take on the government on every little matter. Uh, and if I just go back to what the Prime Minister had said in his address to the media, I quote, he said that we want to go ahead and speed up decisions by taking everyone together. So the Prime Minister really putting the emphasis on building consensus, taking everyone together. He said that it's only possible by maintaining the sanctity of the constitution, further adding that the country expects that the opposition also plays a constructive role and does not indulge in needless sloganeering. But we did hear uh, those, uh, you know, shouts and remarks, a bit of pandemonium when we had uh, the Minister for Education, Dharmendra Pradhan, walking up to take his oath, the opposition uh, raising those slogans. So the opposition gearing up uh, and one can expect some stormy scenes, especially once the budget session uh, begins, the opposition up in arms and waiting to take on the government on some very pressing matters. And the scenes that you're seeing on the right-hand side of your screen are the opposition protests. Uh, they're protesting against the government. In in fact, the Prime Minister also said in that address that you're seeing on the left-hand side of the screens, and I quote, that people do not want drama or disturbance. In fact, he said that the youth of this country, the youth of today want to see progression. They want to see work happening inside the parliament. In fact, he said that people want substance. They don't want slogans, urging the opposition to play a very meaningful role in the parliament session. In fact, he said that the country needs a good, a healthy opposition, a responsible opposition, and he also extended his uh, best wishes to the newly elected MPs. He also said that I have full faith that the MPs who have won in the 18th Lok Sabha will try to fulfill these expectations of uh, the entire nation. Pallavi Ghosh joins us now. Uh, Pallavi, the Prime Minister made it very clear that the people do not want drama, they do not want disturbance, people want substance, no sloganeering. He emphasized and reiterated the vision of Vikas and Vishwas for a resilient and prosperous India. But it's interesting that you, you know, you see that the, the parliament session hasn't even begun, but uh, you have these opposition protests right, right outside parliament. What were they staging this protest for? So parliamentary democracy, I think, uh, and the Prime Minister also admitted and accepted that that we do need a strong opposition and in a parliamentary democracy, uh, uh, protests are allowed. But there is a proce procedure which has to be followed. He said, you know, unruly behaviour where you come to a well of the house, which actually disrupts all the activities, that is not acceptable. Well, if you talk about what is it that opposition was trying to do, well, today, if you notice, they were all meeting outside a Mahatma Gandhi statue with a copy of the constitution to make the point that they are the Rakhwalas or the custodians 
custodians of the constitution where the BJP has done everything possible to act against the constitution of India and then they walk in together again making the point that we may have had differences during the Lok Sabha elections but from here on and now on we are all in it together. Uh, you would have noticed when Mr. Dharmendra Padhan was taking oath as an MP there were huge sounds inside the Lok Sabha where they are talking about NEET that is the opposition voices where they were trying to remind the government and the HRD minister that on the NEET issue the government has lacked behind. Uh, multiple issues which are likely to be taken up by the opposition they have taken that small step today from here on you can expect well, more and more hangama will happen right. where oh, opposition absolutely. parties are going to try and put well, them on the just kindly stay on with me I'll just request you to stay with me because we have Tom Badakan now joining us on the broadcast uh, Mr. Badakan uh, very good morning and we are seeing these live visuals of the oath taking ceremony but we are also seeing visuals of how the opposition stage protest outside this despite the fact of the Prime Minister appealing uh, to the opposition to play a constructive role he in fact even said that it's very important for everyone to come together in decision making well this is uh, this is the toolkit they they will be operating during the session or during any parliament session uh, the neat issue is there and the yes. neat you must understand the background of neat there is this tamil nadu lobby in karnataka medical colleges most of the mlas have many medical colleges so they want to get back to capitation so they are the funding authorities on this neat campaign and the traces of the leakage is going straight to bihar and uh, I don't want to take names at this juncture. In public domain, what is happening? A thorough CBI inquiry is called for to establish who are the people who are disturbing an examination that was running smooth. Now, that's point number one. Hmm. And uh, as to the question of democracy and what they talk about, practitioners of democracy will practice democracy. But those with this kind of behavior in the uh, temple of democracy will not be accepted. The, the cooperation from the government is complete and they want a consensus. But besides that, you have Karge and his team uh, uh, creating a ruckus for no rhyme or reason. Yes. I mean, they say need, but where does need come? This is all part of the toolkit. You have problems elsewhere. I mean, why are these all happening simultaneously? If you want backdoor entry, say so. And the country will try and see how you get that backdoor entry. Your whole exercise is aimed at the losers are trying to be winners. That's exactly what's happening. Oh, that's a, that's a very interesting point and a very uh, interesting uh, issue that you raise as well against the opposition parties, Mr. Varakan. But unfortunately, I've completely run out of time. Have to take a short break. Stay tuned. We'll be back with lots more. To you by. In their democracy, every voice needs to be heard. We are ready to debate and discuss every issue. And therefore, I would request all the MPs to actually cooperate and put their point of view, even if they are divergent ones and are contradictory to that of the government. 